Hughes and Trent Singleton, the opening two opponents who folded inside around the pair of them, haven't managed to do. And maybe Kevin Rooney in the Tyson corner has said, well, OK, you've worked this man out. Open up a little bit now. Open, little, little rueful grin. Snakes out of right. We saw Tyson's head go back there. Score one, Halpin. Once again, Tyson switched to Southport. Back to Orthodox now. Now that's a sign of supreme confidence, isn't it? A young man in only his third pro fight, effortlessly switching between Orthodox and Southport. Again, fighting out of the Southport stance. I think this is really just to see if he can against an opponent who, as I've already said, is not going to hurt him. Halpin has never stopped anybody. I'm not even sure whether he's any deck, whether he's ever decked anybody. So he's not going to he's not going to hurt Tyson. So can, Tyson can use this experience to just try out a couple of new moves because there is a big difference between the gym and the ring, as any pro will tell you. And he hurt Halpin there. He backs it up against the ropes. The more experienced man holds on. The ref having none of it pulls him apart. And every now and then, when Tyson gets through with a shot, he really shakes down Halpin. And you can sense that Tyson maybe now is looking for the one big shot. Tyson himself just holds on. He's backed up himself on the ropes, turns him well. Halpin, wily old pro, the chin tucked down, but he gets clipped with the right hand then. He will not be able, I tell you, to take too many of those. Tyson now starting to double up, hooking off that jab, again fighting out of the southpaw stance, which he's favouring increasingly more in this fight. Maybe he's realised that Halpin doesn't like it when he comes at him southpaw fashion. Crowd, unlike the first couple of fights, pretty quiet. Reacting to the good punch, but absorbed like I am, really, because, to be quite honest, having seen two one-round wins, I'd expected this to follow suit. I'd expected Don Halpin to be another sacrificial victim. Not to be. Three rounds he's gone. Well, I don't think there can be too many doubts that Tyson has won all three rounds. I would think that Kevin Rooney there in the blue tracksuit top is pretty satisfied with, with what he's seen. Tyson, in case it needs any saying, has never been remotely troubled at number four. Has got a slight problem. Great cheer, biggest cheers of the night as the ring car girl straightens it out. And fight fans are the same the world over. Shown pretty girl, pretty girl gets the cheers, and the fighters for the moment are forgotten. Well, in the Halpin corner, they might, you never know, be harboring thoughts of him being the first man to take Mike Tyson the full distance. Would be a first, wouldn't it? Round four then. Oh, good shot. That's a short sneak right. Halpin's head jerked back. Now, Tyson has switched back to Orthodox for this round. He's uh, maybe had enough of playing around with Southpaw. Maybe it was just a little vanity exercise. Maybe Kevin Rooney has said to him, OK, boy, you've had your fun. Now time for business. Well, this is a much slower, a much more measured Mike Tyson. And Albany to my good right hand. Help him down. You behind the camera had the most perfect view of that only difference is you saw the punch Don Halpin didn't mandatory eight early in the fourth can Tyson finish this I think so I think so that's enough now that last right hand that that was questionable Tyson celebrates I didn't like to see that because Halpin was down and the back of his head snapped against the rope and that could have been very dangerous he's still a little bit dazed is Don Halpin 
Well, Tyson won. It was the manner of his victory, that one last right-hander. And they're keeping helping. Now, this, this I don't like to see. This is a little bit worrying. Halpin took one punch too many. The referee, I don't think he could have done much more than he did, to be quite honest with you. And I'm sure we'll see a replay in a minute. Yeah, here we go. Now, this is the punch, the left hook that drives him across the ring. The fight was over then. Bang! That was the punch that caused all the damage. And the referee looked admonishingly at Tyson. I think he had stopped the fight by that point. It was the left hook, right hook combination that had finished it. Halpin was out on his feet at that point. If the ropes hadn't interrupted him, he would have been on the canvas. And that one extra right hook from Tyson, unnecessary, didn't like to see that. Got away with it. And I'm sorry to have to tell you, we're, we're looking at Tyson here, I'm sorry to have to tell you that Don Halpin is still down on the canvas. Now they will be keeping him down just as a precaution. The worst thing when a fighter gets knocked out badly, the worst thing you can do is try and get him back on his feet quickly. And these are experienced cornermen, experienced ringside medical officials. And they will be just slowly, gently, bringing Don Halpin round in his own time. But we haven't as yet, thankfully, seen any call for a stretcher. And Tyson now looking a little concerned, maybe trying to justify why he threw that last right hand up. The statistics will show that it was a fourth round knockout and he's a little bit concerned, sort of, shaking hands with Halpin's cornerman. The cornerman may be remonstrating a little bit with Mike Tyson there. I, the Halpin corner, not happy. The crowd, as you would expect, subdued. No, no fight crowd anywhere in the world likes to see this sort of thing. As I was saying, it will go round, it will go down in the records as Tyson's third straight win. But the manner of the win will maybe a question mark over it.